Hi you again folks, welcome back to another, this is going to be an air fryer recipe again baby, isn't it? Air fryer with a bit of camping stove thrown in. Yeah, we're going to throw a little camping stove in because we're going to make a little sauce with this one I think, aren't we? Yeah. And what we're going to be doing today? Chicken breast stuffed with mozzarella wrapped in bacon with a mushroom sauce poured over the Absolutely top. fantastic. Can we get going? Let's get going. And let's show them exactly what we got in the way of ingredients. Nice and simple this one, folks. You're gonna love this, shall we? Oh yeah, love it. Couple of chicken breasts, four rashes of bacon, mozzarella cheese, some double cream, mushrooms, Maggie seasoning, and an oxo cube. Well, we're also gonna season it up afterwards with a bit of salt and pepper. That's only for the sauce though, isn't it? So you taste it. So right, what we gotta do here, we gotta butterfly these pieces of chicken breast, these two lovely plump chicken breasts we got here, folks. And we're also going to use our lovely new knife, what our subscriber, one of our subscribers bought for us. Can I just say, it is wonderful. I've used she it a couple it. of times. My God, my knives are rubbish. Yeah, well, we have got the sharpener, but we have that, nothing near what this is. This yeah. is like a chef I'm quality. I've cut with a knife of that quality. Look at that. Look at the way it draws out of that sheath, baby. Hey, eh? Right, OK, let's get going then. Let's move all this to the back. Let's get butterfly in and get going. Right, OK, folks, so we've got lovely plump breasts here. And all we're going to do, and don't forget, mind your fingers, folks. Just cut them through. You don't want to cut it right Not the way through. through. You want to butterfly it. There we go. So just work your way through nice and gently with your knife. You don't want to be cutting yourself. Just butterfly that open. There we go. Just like that. Keep going, baby. There you go. It don't matter if you've got gaps in it, folks. Don't worry about that, but uh, it'll all probably ooze out anyway. I'm gonna wash my hands for you people. Yeah. Clean the knife, and then I'm gonna cut the mozzarella. Yeah. Right, so this is a packet of mozzarella, folks. Those of you who don't know what mozzarella is, it is a cheese, you normally put it on pizzas and stuff, and it comes in a bag with full of liquid, so be careful when you open it. And just tip out the liquid, as you can see there. This is the cheaper way of buying mozzarella as well, this is 49p. Yeah, only 49 pence this, folks. You can part freeze this, right? and then you can grate it, I've read. Right, okay, that's a good idea. But also, if you're making a pizza, don't bother slicing it, tear it in. It goes a long way when you just rip it off like this. Yeah, good tip, baby. Thanks. Right, so you've got the mozzarella now, you've just drained it, and all you're gonna do is just cut some slices, yeah. and we're gonna put it in the center of our butterfly chicken. As I say, you ain't gotta be a chef to do this sort of stuff, folks. Just plonk it in there, look. It doesn't matter if it hangs out. Just stick it in there, two bits in each. And don't forget, that's only 45 pence, that mozzarella. You can get there. 49, 49. 49 pence, sorry, it is, it is the cheap stuff, but the effect is exactly the same. I couldn't get streaky bacon, our butcher's having trouble getting it because I asked him this morning and he literally just yeah. wrapped that round. Yeah, try and keep the folds underneath so everything's underneath so it's nice and smooth on the top, folks. Again, there's no art to this. This is quite thick bacon, this actually. Yeah, this comes is. from our butcher's rather than the shop. And literally keep the seam underneath so you can't see it and tuck everything down underneath. Couldn't be simpler, folks. Couldn't be simpler. I'm going to put these in the silicone trays. Right. In the... Air fryer. Right, right. Now, what you can do, folks, here as well, if you want, if you want, and you want it all nice and tight, you can put cocktail sticks through there, can't you, Shell? Oh yeah. But we're not going to bother. We're just going to put two of them in one of these silicone trays in the air fryer itself. It just makes life a lot easier when you're lifting in and out. And if you want to know where to get these from, folks, we got these from Amazon, and uh, I think I've left the link below the video, Sharon. Yeah. Well, actually, these are a gift. Somebody they was a gift. Them. Somebody bought us them. Yeah. Anyway, so into the air fry, and what are we going to put these on? We're going to air fry them. Right. At 180. 180 degrees. Uh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We'll see how they go for 20 minutes, folks. That's on the air fry setting. Right, so while that's cooking away, folks, we're going to make the sauce up, and as you well know, we've got our little camping stoves, which we use. We don't use our big range cooker very, very rarely. In fact, the only times we use it is for the oven to use as a warming oven when we're cooking stuff and we want to keep stuff hot, hot together, baby, isn't it? Yeah. And all we do, we put it on low for, to, for 80 in the main oven, so it's using a fraction of the energy they normally use. And as I say, we don't use the gas hobs anymore. We use these little camping stoves, and we have done for the past four months, baby, haven't we? So I love it. And also, these have saved us money as well. So not only have we got the, the, the air fryer, we also use these to stop them big jets from heating up a saucepan. These have got tiny little jets in these, and we also use the microwave as well, and also the slow cooker. 
So these are all low wattage items which are going to lower your gas and electricity bill as they have done for us. Um, we will be doing some slow cooker recipes soon as well. Yeah, as winter's Let's coming. Let's get colder. Yeah, you need your beef stew and dumplings. Yeah, all one pot oh, wonders, oh, baby. Yes, I love them. Yeah? We're talking about one pot wonders, we've got a one saucepan wonder here. So while he chats, I am just going to slice the mushrooms. Well, I'm going to watch you do it, baby. So literally, all we're doing here is just roughly cutting the mushrooms. You can cut them fine, you can buy them sliced as well. It's entirely up to you. Can't you? Put them in how you like it. In fact, Sharon, you could probably even use a mushroom soup as a blinking stock, couldn't you? As a sauce. Yeah, yeah. Nice mushroom soup. And what we tend to do when we buy a tin of soup, folks, we'll, if it's a mushroom soup, for example, we'll buy real mushrooms and add it up, add some more in there just to jazz it up. Because uh, as we all know, when you get tin goods normally, but they're leaving you wanting for the main ingredient in there sometimes, aren't they? Yeah. So she just sliced all them up, in with the cream, baby. And that is a half a pint now. Is that half a pint? I think so. How many? Let's, let's find out how much it is. Just a small oh, container. 300 mils. 300 mils of cream. See, there's no real measurement with us, folks. Just use what you got. So one tub of cream, and we use this Maggie seasoning here. It's a lovely, savoury seasoning, folks. I've got to get some more. Yeah, we need some more of that, baby. Oxo. There you go. Just crumbling in that uh, Oxo cube into there as well. On with the gas. Just whack it on low, yeah, we don't want it on full because that'll burn the bottom of the pan. And these things really do heat up very, very quickly, folks. So literally just turned it right the way down. She'll just stir it up and then you'll start to add the mushrooms. It, it couldn't be any simpler, folks, could it? And then she'll just introduce the mushrooms into the sauce. And this will be lovely. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, aren't we? Yeah and then we're just going to turn it off and then reheat it once the main cooking's done. We're only doing this now while we've still got a lot of time left on the main cooking of the uh, the chicken and the bacon. So if I just open up folks, that's the great thing about these air fryers, that you can open up a little drawer, they stop cooking instantly, you can have a little check and then whack it back in and they start counting down and carrying on cooking. Nice thing about them silicone trays for chicken and that, it's cooking in its juices still. Yeah, so they won't dry out. No. And one thing we recommend that you get is one of these probe thermometers because when you uh, want to test your meat, someone mentioned the other day that how do you know whether the middle of the food's done? Well, if you've got one of these, you literally just probe that into the item and uh, that tells you if it's hot enough. If it's up to about 70 to 80 degrees in the middle, 60, 70, 80 degrees, then you know that it's uh, going to be pretty much cooked in the middle. Right, so we're just going to add some uh, black pepper into that. Look at that. And we like a bit of black pe pepper, folks, so do grind it in there. I do see people doing one or two turns, shall, and then they, they well, leave it. It needles you, doesn't it? I know, it does needle me. I like to whack it in there. Look, if we like pepper, put it in. If we was making a peppercorn, peppercorn sauce now, we'd crush up some fresh peppercorns just under a, a heavy item and then throw them in. And that'll be a peppercorn and mushroom sauce then, you see? So, so I'm gonna leave you blipping along with that, and then when it comes to a, a little ball, you see the bubbles start to uh, come up, then just turn it off. Well, as you can see now, folks, that's just starting to bubble away there now, and that will cook the mushrooms, that. So once we get to that stage, you can actually turn it off if you want. Yeah, I mean, so we've had a lot of questions about people saying, do we prefer the uh, Ninja, what we've got with the two drawers? Do we prefer the Kasuri, the dual blaze, the big one? We prefer the two drawers, and it's as simple as that. As far as the Kasuri goes, that's gone to our daughter. We give that one to our daughter, and she gets on absolutely fine with that. She's got three kids. And also, we're learning at the same time. For example, as I say, we've got the air fryer, but the air fryer basically is a mini oven on steroids. It's a turbo oven, basically. And whatever you would cook in your normal oven, you would cook in the, uh, the air fryer. Uh, I had someone say in a comment the other day that they tried cooking custard in it, and it looks all burnt and horrible. Well, normally you wouldn't cook custard in an oven, would you? No. You'd do it on, on your hob in, the, in, a, in a bowl or whatever and do it that way. Just like cooking eggs. We found out that cooking eggs or heating up beans, for example, you can do them in there, but ideally do them in the microwave where you'd normally heat up eggs or beans or scrambled eggs, for example. And if you're doing a fried egg, for example, we would do it on this little camping stove here. Our main option here is to save money because the energy bills have rocketed and we don't want to be using our big multi-range cooker because that is a big draw on our energy. So that's the reason why we use our little cooker. We use the microwave. And someone mentioned when we done our jacket potato video the other day, someone said, well, why don't you start it off in the microwave, mm -hmm. put it in there for 10 minutes, yeah, and then whack it in there for 10 minutes to crisp it up. Great idea, because the microwave is a low wattage item as well. So it's a learning curve at the end of the day. 
we've never had an air fryer before. We're trying to bring to you the stuff we're learning about it. And also trying to make it bleating tasty for you folks, are we? Yeah. Right, folks, so we've got four, min four and a half minutes to go. So I'm just going to open the drawer out. Let's have a little look. Can you see what Sharon mentioned about they cooking their own juices so that won't dry out? And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to check, look. Oh, I don't know, hold on. Yeah, we're up to about 52 degrees in there, folks. Look, can you see that? So it's going to need a bit more cooking. Yeah, see, that's about 43 degrees at the moment, so it's not quite hot enough. You're looking about 70 plus or whatever. So we'll just whack that back in. And we may have to do that for a little bit longer as well, see? So there is no hard and fast time, but having one of them makes your life a hell of a lot easier, and then you can judge, and then you'll know for the next time. Right, well, we've just had a check of them, baby. They've just done 20 minutes, haven't they? Mm. And they just want a bit more. They're up to about 55 degrees in the middle. Just not quite happy with the temperature in the middle, so we just put it on for an extra eight minutes, and then we'll see how we go. But I thought, why not also? We had this in the cupboard. It's the old microwavable bleaten rice. And this is a chicken flavour one as well. This cost 45 pence, Sharon. Bargain. In, I think it was Lidl. And all you do is you just rip the top of them open, not fully, like that, and plonk that in the microwave for two minutes. So I'm gonna do that. You do that and I'll warm this up. All right, let's have a look at your sauce, baby. Oh, look at that, it's thickened up lovely, that, isn't it? it smells lovely. Oh, yeah. Again, just don't have your gas too high, folks, and just keep it turning, because you don't want to burn the bottom of the pan. That's the last thing you want. Folks, it's awful to wash up. Eh? It's awful to wash up. Well, all we've got, yeah. Sharon, is bleating one bleating bowl with them two silicone things in there. They're not going to take much washing up, no. are they? And that's one of the other things we found as well, folks, is that you seem to have less washing up, Sharon, don't you? Oh, yeah. And, which is fantastic. So not only are we saving energy, we're also saving time washing up and all that. So we can have more fun time, baby. What do you want to do? <laughs> Let's go and wake baby Frank up. Yeah, we're babysitting at the moment. We've got baby Frank upstairs, he's asleep, and uh, we've got a little monitor down here, so that's, you might hear a noise in the background, a little hissing noise. That's not her hissing, eh? <laughs> anyway, time's nearly up. Right, the sauce is done, folks. She's just gone over to get the, uh, the, the rice. Let's have a little look at this stuff. Look, this really does well. Two minutes, folks. Why would you bother to try and do that in an air fryer when it cooks like that? in a microwave in two minutes. Absolutely perfection. And it's only 45 pence. And it's flavoured, Sharon. Yeah. Yeah, make life easy for yourself, folks, but uh, don't want to make it too easy for you, baby, because uh, we need a bit of exercise, don't we? I'll tell you what, I'll have a plate for my chicken piece. You having a bit as well? Yeah. Right. Come on, let's get you one out there, baby. There you go. There you go. So that does two of us, doesn't it? Right, there we go, folks. We took another 10 minutes to do that, so it's 30 minutes in total, because these were actually quite meaty breasts, Sharon, weren't they? Yeah, they're not supermarket breasts. No, and I do like a meaty breast, as you well know. So we're up to 74 degrees there now, folks, and that looks absolutely tremendous, folks. Let's have a closer look at it. Just eat, oh, oh, God, look what you're doing to it, look. Superb, can I have a bit more of my one, shall No, there's none left. Hey, <laughs> Come on, whack it on there. Oh, look at that. That do, baby, don't go too mad. I ain't leaving, none. Of course you ain't. Look at that, folks. Look at that, oh, look at it run down, shall Right, can't wait to tuck into this, folks. Come on in, baby, you go first, tell me what you think. That looks really creamy, folks. That's it. Go and hack at it, shall? Gently it goes, take, go. treat it with respect, shall? Well? Mm. Let me know, baby. It's lovely. Is it? Does it need anything else? No. That Maggie seasoning and the Oxo cube in that sauce, folks, that really does make a difference. You tried a bit of rice, that was only two minutes. Two minutes in the microwave. Perfect rice. It's lovely sauce. Can I have a go, baby? Oh, here we go. Oh, I want to get a bit of everything on my bite, folks. Here we go. Hold on. I'm going to get. No, it won't. Shout. I'm, I'm being like a lady. Nice delicate mouthful. Oh, look, <laughs> look, look, at, look at that mozzarella. Oh, it's calling me. Look. Oh, the great thing about that uh, sauce shell 
It holds the rice. Look. Right, let's have a go at this baby. Shall? It's gonna be hot. Let me have a go, shall? Oh, 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 that Oh. I'll tell you what. That's no normal chicken breast, I tell you. It's not my fault. That sauce really makes it, and that bacon on top brings a lovely salty overtone, Sharon. It's like a salty raincoat, Sharon. And that's for them mushrooms. And that, that sauce, I know it's cream sour, and cream's quite rich, but it's got such a savoury flavour now because of that Maggie seasoning and that Oxo cube just crumbled into it. And it would have been nice, yeah, to have a few peppercorns in there. But even the rice, Sharon, the rice is not just plain boiled rice. That was a quick marvel as well, Sharon. What a last minute treat that is for 47 pence or something. Oh, and that mozzarella inside, it's oozed out and it creates it creates a, a cheesy string, Sharon, doesn't it? I mean, look how thick that chicken is. Oh, look, Sharon, watch me, watch me, baby. I'm going in again. Oh, oh that's beautiful, folks. You could have that with some green veg, carrots, peas on the side. Chicken does stay very moist in the air for oh, yeah. I will say that. That is so moist, it's not drying out at all, that folks. I don't know if we've cooked a roast chicken in there yet. Maybe do one of them with a few roast potatoes in the other tray. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to play it by ear. We're going to finish this off and enjoy this. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, if, you have, if you're interested in what we do, check out our videos. We've got playlists on our channel. We've got air fryer playlists. We've got school dinners playlist where we've created the old school dinners. And we've got other cooking videos as well. And also a, 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 a playlist full of vlogs, Sharon. Yes, to see what we actually see get, our family. What we actually get up and to during the week. Once down there Thanks very market. much. Thanks very much for all the extra subscribers we've gained. And also Thank the people you. who have been sending us some stuff as well, like that knife we got is absolutely fantastic as well. Yeah, that wasn't even on our wish list. So that was all right, Billy Bonus. It's wonderful, that knife. Absolutely wonderful. Anyway. Thanks very much, folks. I'll see you in the next video. And until then... I've got to make this before baby Frank wakes up. Yeah, and I've got to do the washing up. I've got to do all the housework after the shower. Um, woman's work is never done. <laughs>